Hi, I'm Mike from Boxing Strength TV. I'm here with uh, Carlos. Uh, we're just doing a second set of this plate workout I just made up. Um, I'll just kind of talk you through it as he's doing it. So uh, let's go. All right, so the first thing Carlos is doing is just walking uh, forward uh, with uh, farmer's walks with the plates. This is really working uh, forearm strength, grip strength, which is good for punching power, wrist control for, you know, for, you know, MMA, obviously the grappling department. So then he's gonna go there and then he's gonna hold for as long as he can. Uh, he's kinda, you know, it's, I don't know how long it's gonna be because uh, he did one hell of a workout before this. We've been training him almost two hours, so. He's gonna hold as long as he can. Good job. And now he's gonna go to walking lunges, okay? Um, so walking lunges is good. Uh, it's just really good, in my opinion, uh, for muscular imbalances. You see how he's got the plate high? When he has the plate high like that, that's uh, really strengthening in his core too. It's an ab workout for sure, okay? But I mean, it's hitting his quads, his glutes, a little of his hamstrings, um, you know, his arms, his shoulders. I mean, this is full body, okay? And that's just a lunge. He's just lunging forward, and then he's gonna come. Uh, he's gonna come back. Right there. I mean, this is tough, guys. This is a good workout. We're just doing it at the end of practice. Uh, it's Friday, you know. We got the weekend off, and uh, yeah, Carlos fighting in uh, January. So yeah, watch out for him. All right. So from here. He's gonna take a little break, and then he's gonna go to uh, he's gonna go to uh, overhead. Uh, I don't even know what they call this. I did a video on it before, but uh, basically you'll see the movement. Uh, I'll talk you through it when he does it. So right here, he's uh, yeah. Here's the movement. You see that guys with the plate? Boom! Just over the head, and then behind the head, we're doing 20 there, back and forth. This is good for uh, rotational strength. Um, you know, this will help with hooks, uppercuts, and honestly, just kind of muscle memory. I, it's hard to explain. But uh, this is, it's, a, it's tough, guys. And uh, there's really no, uh, you're not, some people might say there's risk of injury doing this. I don't see it. People get injured in other ways, lifting weights, but not here. So it's back and forth. Good. So from here, so he just, uh, he did that, and uh, he's taking a little break, now he's going to rows, doing 20. Uh, rows, right, he's working on here, biceps, triceps, and upper back. M more upper back and uh, biceps, I, I'm thinking, but you know, this is good for uh, punching power, mus muscle endurance, uh, this is just good in general. Upper back, you gotta have a strong upper back. Think for combat sports, boxing, MMA, weightlifting, any fucking sport you do. And now this is overhead throws. Uh, we're doing 20, I think he's going 10 for each side. And uh, then his workout is over, guys. So uh, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll write the workout below. Give it a try if you'd like. But, uh, you know, this is a second set of it. You know, he's feeling it, but you know, um, you don't uh, grow being comfortable. So, you know, maybe give this a try if you want to switch it up for your workout at your boxing gym or MMA gym, or if you're just training on your own, give it a try and it might help you. So anyways, guys, thank you and thank you, Carlos. Perfect.